C.S. Lewis said, It is not out of compliment that lovers keep on telling one another how beautiful they are. The delight is incomplete until it is expressed. I vow to express my delight in you each day. I've always thought of you to be special. I would not change a thing about you because you're priceless. You're one of a kind and I'm beyond blessed to call you mine. You're so special that I don't want to go a day without you being mine. Before I knew you, you were just a boy at my gym whose name I didn't even know, but now I don't know how I ever lived without you. I don't remember and I don't know if there was an exact moment, but I do know that when I met you, my soul rejoiced because it had found its mate. Without a shadow of a doubt, you are the one that God made for me. I knew you were committed to us as we didn't talk for six weeks and you immediately supported me going into a great deal of uncertainties. Before I even knew that I loved you, there was something inside of me that was drawn to you. It was as if my soul knew you were the one before my heart or mind could catch up. You're special because you do things out of love that others might not ever think about. You're special because you care so much. You're special because of your faith and desire to grow together. I knew that a long distance relationship would be challenging and even then I still underestimated how hard it would be to wait for you for so long. And yet I still chose you. That's only a testament of how I will choose you every day as long as I live, no matter the circumstance or miles. <laughs> Not many people understand what we experienced and the difficulties of this distance. However, I wouldn't change any of it as long as it ended with you. The distance shaped and challenged our love and dedication for one another, and in the end, love one. I'd do it all over again as long as it took to bring me to this moment right now. I know that without the weight, this day couldn't feel this sweet. I love you. There came a time when I caught a small glimpse of how much God must love me through the powerful love I get to feel from you. I am so overwhelmingly thankful that he made me to be your helpmate and the one who stands beside you. I've always dreamed of being the best husband that I could be for my future family, and you've helped make that dream come true. You've helped me grow to be the man that I've always wanted to be. I pray that one day we will be blessed to enter parenthood together. I cannot imagine any person more perfect for me than you. You are my treasure and my best friend. We've imagined this day, prayed for this day, long before we could see it. Today, so many prayers are coming to fruition. I promise that I will always put you first and to always provide for you. I promise to trust you as the spiritual head of our home, and I vow to submit to that authority. You've helped me strengthen my faith and desire to put others' needs above my own, especially yours. I promise to always honor you and build you up. I'll be your biggest fan for life. I promise to prioritize you above everything else. 
I will always make time for you and try to make you feel special. I promise to keep you by my side. I promise to love you and make you feel loved. My love doesn't simply imply a feeling. My love will embrace you in all ways, patience, kindness, truthfulness, resilience, faithfulness, hopefulness, endurance, and perseverance. My love for you empowers me to cover you with these actions and it emboldens me to explore for new ways to show my love and appreciation for you. We will explore this earth for as long as we are alive. I promise to love you and keep these vows always, no matter what, no matter where. And Caitlin, if there's anything that you should ever remember that encompasses my promises and love for you, it should be this. I love who you are.